Hi, in this video I'll show how to uh, use application for creating um, VCF uh, files from XML. You can see on my computer I have XML file I'd like to convert to VCF and basically it contains contact information and uh, let's open it into uh, Internet Explorer. I can do right click and Internet Explorer and you can see it has a uh, um, some contact information, first name, last name, uh, organization, URL, phone, email, and I'd like to create VCF file with all this data. In order to do this, oh, I can also open it into XML Viewer. It's a free app. It's showing what is inside an XML file. And you can see it's more like table um, view. I will leave link on this app uh, in description. It's showing what is inside an XML. And <clears throat> you can see it has uh, all these tags and these tags they will be in in conversion app but let me show you how to do it uh so first i will download application from my website this is my website to find the app i will type xml to vcf and click on uh, application page click on the load button to start the loading process and wait until archive will be downloaded on my computer I will be recording more videos on VCF files and uh, conversion uh, to and from VCF files. So if you're interested, please consider subscribing to my channel. Yep, we are waiting. File has, uh, you can see archive has been downloaded. I'll click on downloaded archive and then double click on them inside, inside the archive and click on more info on the screen. I'm getting the screen from Windows because I'm not registered publisher with Microsoft. You can see publisher unknown. So I just click run and wait to start installation. Click on next, next install. Click on yes and click finish on final screen. And you can see application has been installed on my computer. I have a new shortcut on my desktop. Now I can close this, this, this and double click on shortcut to launch app. Now, if, if you'd like to have a similar file or if you'd like to see this contact XML file, you can click on this link to download it and it will be downloaded on your computer. Right now, um, so after um, application launched, step uh, conversion is three steps process. In step one, we'll have to select um, XML file we would like to convert. So I click on this button, navigate to my XML file it called my contacts xml i think my contacts example xml yep i click open click on uh, i can add more file if i want to uh, if there is the same structure um uh, if there is the same xml structure i can add them and click on next step here um and the second step i i can specify uh, if i want to have a one vcf file or many vcf files so if one if i have select one vcf file only one file will be created and all contacts will be put into this one file it's useful if i have a, like uh, if i want to have vcf file for entire organization and uh, i can put it on the website and everyone who downloaded it can add like entire organization contacts to it However, if I want to have a, a one VCF file per person, I can select many files in this case. Uh, let's select one file and just to have it. Uh, so then I here, next step, I will have to match VCF columns with my XML data. What will happen on the right side, you can see uh, we have a uh, columns we had before on XML viewer. Now we have uh, here. So our goal is to match uh, first name to first name, right, column. So your XML may be different and that's okay because uh, if you have a, for example, first name, just name is name, you will have a different name, but you know how to match like what, uh, you, where is the data in your XML file. If you don't know, you can, you can uh, use that XML viewer to check um, where is how what is the name of the column and how data is structured inside so um then i will select last name organization uh job title i don't think if i have a job title here 
Okay, so I will just keep uh, I will just keep um, missing information. That's fine as well. So phone number, mobile phone, phone one, email. Yep. I don't have a home. Oh, I have a home page. Yeah. Uh, I don't have address, so I'll just keep it and have country. Go next step and then final step. I'll click run, and it's asking me to create XML uh, uh, to create a VCF file where it's uh, be located and what will be the name of the file. I can change the name of the file, um, like my org uh, XML, and save it into my document. Click on save, and file has been saved. So yeah, basically that's it. We saved our file, we save file for entire organization. We can, uh, I can uh, double click on it to open it. I have a, I have a VCF viewer installed on this computer and it will show me what is inside of this VCF file. This is also free app. I will, I will leave this uh, link of this app into description. I can also open it into uh, Windows, um, contacts right but it will be opening contacts per vcf file so if i click you can see oh, we have all the data but if i click and cancel it will open next one next one and it will be opening until until i until end of the file so this is how windows but you can see all information uh, phone email cell organization company name everything has been imported. Yeah, basically that's it. Uh, I can also open it into many files. So in this case, it will ask me to uh, specify folder when all these files will be placed. So yeah, basically that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you.